Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning and David has off today. So we have just kind of chilled this morning. He made breakfast for us and now we're kind of just like cleaning up and I just got ready and I put on this sweater, which is so old from H&M, but I just love it for some reason, but it's so pilled that it looks like really bad. So I pulled this thing out, which I bought for our couch. It's like a little, um, D pillar. I don't know if that's even like a word, but I'm going to use this on the sweater. I'm just going to show you what this sweater looks like. So like in this area, it looks so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and start using this little thing. We'll see if it works. This is what it looks like after probably like five minutes of doing it. So much came off. I feel like I could go for a little bit longer, but I feel like it looks a lot better than it did. Um, so yeah, this is linked in my Amazon storefront if any of you are in need of something like this because I feel like I have so many sweaters in my closet that I've had for like years that I love, but now I like don't pull them out because they all kind of look a little like, I don't know, like I've worn them so many times, which I have. So I feel like this just kind of like brings them back to life a little bit. But yeah, like I said, I originally bought this for my couch. So if any like fabrics in your house or like coats or blankets, anything like that, um, this works really well. And so far I haven't had any trouble with it. So I'm gonna go and empty this now. All right, I'm gonna open up our advent calendar, day 15. This is a good reminder. It makes me kind of um, anxious when I look at how many days I have left and all the things I have to do before this day. So anyways, we're gonna put that away for now open up day 15 hmm I've never heard of this brand but it's a Thera intensive foot cream in the scent tea tree which sounds really nice and I feel like putting this on your feet and then like a nice pair of like fuzzy socks would be so nice for like a little spa night at home so maybe I will do that tonight or in the next couple days because that sounds very nice but all right, fun. While Remy is finishing up her nap, I am going to really brainstorm my gift wrap one more time. And then we are gonna head out and we're gonna go to maybe a couple um, craft stores. And then I think we're gonna go out to lunch to this really good Greek place that we've only been to, I think once or twice, but we think about it all the time. So I was like, we need to go back there. So I think we're gonna go out to lunch and hopefully get some stuff for my gift wrap because tomorrow I like plan to like paint it. So I kind of like need to get it. So I'm going to do a little brainstorm and then maybe if I have time design my little gift tags, um, I'll keep you guys updated. kind of what I'm thinking obviously the colors aren't exact but one of my painted pieces I want to do white wrapping paper with like a green kind of similar to the one that's in this um, wrapping paper and then the other one I'm just gonna do a craft with like a really thin kind of checkered 
print but just like a blown up version and not really like filled in and then i'm going to print off a bunch of these cards that say happy holidays to you love the paulsons and then i plan to like hand letter people's names like going vertically so i'll have to get those printed at like um i don't know somewhere like i was gonna say cbs but like an office max or something so I kind of have an idea now, so now I just need to go to the craft store and get a couple of things, and then I think we should be good. Come to mama. Good job. Yay. <laughs> okay, that feels good to have figured out, so I think we are going to pack up and head out and go run our little errands that we have, and then get lunch. I came to Hobby Lobby today just because I did not have great luck at, where was I yesterday, Michael's. So I'm gonna be looking at ribbon, paper, and paint here, and then also a couple things for her little ornament that I might make, so just looking. I think I found some ribbon, which is good, but now I'm gonna look in the yarn to find the specific green color I want because there's just like way more color options, so I'm gonna see if I can find the right green. Okay, this little guy's shirt is the green that I'm kind of going for, and it's almost more so like this versus like an olive, and I keep looking at like that color, and it's just not it. So, actually, I think this is it. So I always like to have some like texture pieces that are like bigger, so like these like fluffy ones and honestly coming to look at the yarn is so smart because you get so much more. Like this is 62 yards for $6 versus this which is super pretty but it's only 15 feet and it's $7. So it's definitely smart to like come look at the yarn because I think you can get kind of the similar effects but just for a lot cheaper. Okay, I think we are set on ribbon. Now I'm just going to walk around and I have to find a couple other things. I just had a lady come up to me and ask me a question because she thought my camera was a scanner. <laughs> now I am looking for paint because I'm not sure the green color I got yesterday is right. So we're going to look here. Hopefully we can find something, otherwise I might have to like do a little color theory and make my own green, but I don't really want to do that. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to have to make my own, so I'm going to get some of this brown and then yellow. Headed to lunch. We're going to a place called Naughty Greek. It's so good. I think I said this earlier, but we talk about it all the time. Yeah, it's we like, haven't been in quite a while. No, I think we've only been like twice before, but it's so good. And it's like 50 degrees out. It definitely feels weird. Most of the snow is melting. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Like you guys saw how much snow we had the other day, and now it's like all melting. lunch and when we got home Remy had a little package no it says Carter so let's look and see maybe it says anyways Remy had a package at the door I don't know what this is but we don't know who it was from oh it's from oh. cute that is so sweet okay let's see what it is Oh my gosh, cute. Awesome. 
shape Glock set. set. Oh my gosh, and look at how cute. Okay, this is adorable. It's a little block set. That's yes, awesome. thank you. You know who you are. Um, I'm going to open this up and let her play with it when she wakes up from her nap. She's going to love this. I'm just kind of opening this up, but look at how cute these little blocks are. Like, adorable and totally like my colors. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at how freaking cute. But while Remy is napping, I'm going to do a little bit more um, like designing for my gift tags and for the ornament. And what else do I need to design stuff for that I said? Oh, we're, um, our freaking Christmas cards got back ordered for some reason. Um, I ordered them through Artifact Uprising and I got an email the other day saying that like there was a small batch of cards that like, I don't know if they got forgotten about or they just printed wrong or something. And of course ours was part of that. So they're super behind. And I was planning to like hand letter all the addresses and like make them super pretty of course. But now that I think they're gonna probably get here tomorrow, we're gonna just do like the plain sticker thing. So we have to get that all sorted and have David figure out how we're gonna like print those stickers cause I've never done it before. So. We're gonna just both sit on our computer and get some of that stuff done while she naps. Here's where I'm at. I laid out all of the gift tags and just made them the colors I want. And then down here, I, it's probably kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in. Um, I printed, or I like scaled this wallpaper down to the sides of the ornament. And I'm just gonna print it four times in case I like mess up. And then, oh, Remy's waking up, but um same with this little piece of art that we have like in her room i just did it a couple different sizes in case i mess up or i need a different size so i think this is good and i'm just gonna print multiples of these um little tags but i think i'm ready to go to print remy's awake from her nap so let's go get her <sighs> Oh, are you so shy? Hi! Should we take your sleep back on? Should we go see Teta? Where's Teta? You guys look at how long this plant has gotten. It's usually in our like kitchen area, but during the holidays I just have to move them up here. It is so long. Remy loves touching it when we walk by. We are back home and it's pretty early still, but we are gonna start dinner just because David has basketball tonight and we're making a dinner that Remy can kind of have. So we are just gonna start it a little early. Um, and I'm making a kale salad with like some butternut squash on it, some pecans, cranberries, red onion, like a balsamic dressing. And then David's gonna do some steak to put on top of it. Um, I'll obviously show you guys kind of how I'm making it, but I will put the recipe um, in the description, which I don't think I did for the pasta last a couple days ago. Did we? No, nope. sorry about that. Um, we'll make sure that it's in this one and I'll go and add the pasta to the other one if you're the one asking for it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start making the butternut squash.
is the finished salad. Looks so good. Like I said, I'll leave the recipe below.